Welcome back to Midnight Run. You know, just your weekly dosage of just gun paraphernalia. I had a lot of comments. A lot of people were wondering how the Sig Romeo uh, is. So this video is going to be on the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Sig Sauer Romeo uh, 8T. Really, really cool optic, but let's just get right on into the meat and potatoes, yeah? I got to say it right before the video. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely think about doing that. Hit that like button, rub those dick beaters right across that keyboard, and we definitely have to thank Pro Armory. Thank you, Pro Armory. They are the sponsor of this channel. Really, really great guys. Veteran operated, locally owned, extremely good prices, and very, very fast shipping. Um, they supply all the ammo, and we couldn't do it without them. Awesome guys, definitely check them out. The link below brings you right over to their website, and that link is attached to the uh, channel, so it really helps me out, really helps out Kyle, really helps out Chris, really helps out Pro Army, really helps out everybody as a whole, because I don't get paid, that's all I get. So, again, thank you Pro Armory, definitely go check them out, great, great guys. So, let's just get on into the meat and potatoes of this video, talking about the Six Hour Romeo 8T. I have a lot of time with EOTex, I like EOTex, I think that EOTex is kind of at like the forefront of holographic sights and stuff, but when I got the Spear LT, I kind of wanted to try something else, something else out. Um, I usually, I am kind of guilty, I kind of get like biased and just hone in on one product and that's all I use. So when I got the Spear LT, I kind of wanted to try something else out, especially another holographic sight. So I saw the Six Hour Romeo 8T and I thought it was pretty interesting, it has a lot of cool features, so definitely stay for the whole video because we're going to talk about all of them. But first things first, let's just see what you get out of the box when you, when you first buy this thing. So this is the box that you get when you buy the Romeo 8T or Romeo 8, depending on what model you want. Uh, Sig does a really, really good job like with their packaging. This thing's like this thing's like wood almost. It's very, very durable and it's pretty cool. So this is what you get when you buy the Romeo. Um, it's in the cool, uh, the foam cutout, which is pretty awesome. Obviously the sight's not there because it's on my rifle, but you have your owner's manual here. You have the anti-reflection screen, which is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that they gave, they gave this to you stock um, and it's in the package. So if you want to clip that on, that's pretty cool um, to hide your reflection of, of the front, uh, front part of your uh, optic. You get like a cleaning bag here. Then you get the, I got to take my gloves off. You get the socket. You get the socket to install it, which is pretty cool. And then you have this, uh, this thing right here. To crank it down if you want so you get a lot of pretty cool parts and pieces um, just stock with the Romeo uh, the, the I think this one I paid like 700 bucks for the FDE one um, I know black the black ones I think a little bit cheaper so all said and done this is probably gonna cost you about 700 bucks it's definitely not a cheap optic but um, I think for what you get it's it's well worth it, it has a lot of features and we're definitely gonna get into uh, all those features in this video so that was unboxing it, and that's kind of what you get for your for the price. Um, so going more into the features of it, it has a high transmittant lens for optical clarity. It has a one by 38 millimeter aperture. So that's pretty cool, and I really noticed that. So you can shoot with both eyes open. It definitely has a massive field of view, which is pretty cool. So um, that bigger field of view, you can see your target better. And instead of like using that one eye kind of squint and like those smaller Romeos and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. I do like how it is a bigger sight picture and has a bigger aperture. I just think that it, it, it definitely uh, lines up the target more and you can shoot more or less with both eyes open with that size aperture. So this is probably my favorite feature to the Romeo and this is probably one of the biggest reasons why I picked the Romeo AT. Uh, you know, with your EOTex and stuff, you just kind of had that fixed, sort of the donut of death reticle and you can't change it. So the Romeo 8T, this is really, really cool. Um, they give you four different options. You have the dot, you have the circle dot, you have dot with holds, and then you have a circle dot with holds, which is really, really cool. So your standard dot just looks like your standard red dot, and then your circle dot looks like the standard EOTech, EOTech reticle. And then you have your ballistic dots, which is really, really awesome. So you can set your, what you, you zero your rifle with whatever it's on, and then you don't even have to make any sort of adjustments. It's more of that ballistic calculator reticle, which is awesome. And then you can go into the circle one with the ballistic calculator um, built in. So it's that's probably one of my biggest reasons why I wanted to try out the Romeo 8T and it's really really cool um, I usually just do the circle <laughs> again you know going back to the EOTex I just usually do that donut of death 
uh, reticle, which I'm used to, but I was trying to, uh, a couple times that I brought it out, I was trying to do those ballistic holds, and it was very, very accurate. Um, one thing that I did notice about the reticle is it did have a lot of glow on it, so. The reticle was extremely bright, even in the lowest setting. It still had kind of had that edge glow on it, which was kind of annoying. So that was kind of a downfall to the reticles, but um, so far so good. I really, really like that option where it gives you it gives you that the shooter the, cap the capability of doing whatever he or she wants instead of just having that fixed don't of death, death reticle like your EOTechs do. So as you can see, this thing's an absolute brick. Um, there is a reason for that. Uh, it's it's covered in a titanium shroud, and then the rest is made of an aluminum body. So it's extremely durable. You can throw it at Kyle's face, and he'll cry, and it's, but it's still going to hold up. You can throw it on the rocks. It's extremely durable, and they designed it for all sorts of conditions. Um, and you definitely feel it. It's, it's, it's definitely boxy, and it's definitely pretty, pretty big, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, but that is... The, main part is pretty much that titanium shroud on it definitely makes it a little bit boxier than it already is. Um, also it comes stock with these low profile uh, lens covers which is awesome. You know, like your EOTechs and stuff, they don't really have anything to cover the lens, um, especially when you're transporting and stuff like that. Uh, that that kind of sucks that you don't want something slamming into your glass and breaking your optic. So these things are pretty cool that they just uh, clip right on ready to rock and roll, protects the glass, protects the optics, ready to get back into the fight in any condition. Um, it's also waterproof, which is awesome. I think like your EOTechs, most sites really are, but uh, this one is waterproof, so you don't really have to worry about dropping in a lake or uh, Kyle thinking he's funny, running into my room and pissing on all of my stuff and ruins my shit. So it's waterproof, uh, ready to rock and roll in any sort of conditions. Another cool feature to the Romeo 8T is it has a built-in system called the MOTAC, which is the Motion Activated Illumination System. So if it feels any sort of movement or it feels it not moving, it powers up or it powers itself down. So we've all been there. Every single one of you that's watching this video has been there where you're shooting your, you, you know, you're shooting your rifle or whatever, and then you forget to turn it off and you're just like, all right, well, that was 10 hours of battery or whatever it may be. So this thing will power itself up and will power itself down with the if it senses any sort of movement or it not moving so that is a really really cool feature and it just kind of shows that the amount of technology and stuff that is going into these rifles and going into these optics is just getting really really crazy so I'm really curious to see what happens in the next uh, 10 years when it comes to um, technologies with your holographic scopes and stuff like that but um, so that was the Sig Sauer Romeo 8T really really impressed with it so far um, it is on the little pricey end it is a little it is a little pricey but you get a lot of good stuff and there is a lot of features to it that other uh, brands and stuff don't give you so uh, people wanted me to make a video on it and my first impressions of it I probably have about 2,000 rounds through it and uh, it's it's so far got really not many complaints to say about it um, it's a it's definitely an interesting uh, holographic site and there's a lot of cool technology in this thing so um, definitely check out this six hour romeo 8t if you guys like the video if you are interested in it definitely go check it out but uh, that's a wrap for today guys really appreciate it thank you guys for watching we're trying to make a video once a week so definitely come back hit that subscribe button leave that comment tell tell us how much you hate kyle and uh, we got some more videos coming out so we'll see you back out there goodbye Go check out Pro Armory. Guys, make sure and you tell Andrew later. that uh, his hairs are gray. <laughs> they call me Silver Fox. That's my new, that's my new name. Yeah. At least I'm not balding, though, so that's a plus. <laughs>